as is. Brown's full Brown's as, as is. Brown's full as is, that's right. A is for Shauna. S is for Sonia. And we are located uh, in one of the communities here in Haywood County this morning. And I want you to know that it's morning because you'll hear roosters crawling or cock a doodle dooing yeah. or whatever you call yeah. it. <laughs> it's like we got up before the roosters did this we morning. We did, or at least with the roosters, with that's the roosters. for sure. We are in Northwest Haywood County in um, a wonderful place uh, tucked away in Northwest Haywood County. We're in the community of Forky Deer. Yeah, wonder why it's Forky Deer. What is, it, should, it looks like it should be Fork, doesn't it? Well, it's spelled that way. Yeah. But you know, us Southerners, we either take syllables away or put them <laughs> we in. Add to, yeah, or, we add to yeah. yeah. You know, we draw our words out, but sometimes we don't. Right. So, so, I, it, so to me, it's Forky Deer. Right. It's Forky Deer to me, too. Forky Deer. And we're actually here at the Forky Deer Park. We are. Yeah. We are. And this is one of about six parks that um, the Brownsville Haywood County Parks and Rec Recreation um, maintain. That's right. That's right. And uh, <coughs> we're fortunate in Haywood County that we have we have three parks in the county. That's right. That the, Parks and Rec maintains. Yeah. And yeah. they're Pilgrim Rest. Okay. And that's out 179. Uh, we've got here Fork at Deer, and we've got the Douglas. Yes. Park down around the Stanton area. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a lot of busy staff folks, I imagine working to keep the park to maintain the equipment that's right i know people have Repairs. to cut the yard uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. there's walking tracks at all of those parks that's so right. the community has a safe place to go and and get their exercise it's yeah. not just for kids right uh even though there's a special little park over here for the young ones mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's family oriented. It is family it's, oriented. Yeah, it's yeah. very family. There's a tennis a tennis court. There is a basketball court. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, picnic table here if you wanted to stop mm -hmm. by and just do a little. And my favorite part, the swings. The swings. Yeah. I could stay out here a while like this. So once the video's through, y'all, if you want to find us, we're just out swinging. We're just a swinging. <laughs> Yeah, so let's talk a bit, little bit about uh, maybe, uh, the, you know what, I just noticed there's a little free library there that uh, we had placed here in Pete Padilla with Brownsville Parks and Recreation uh, constructed that for me, maybe I had to do it. So again, let's talk about a um, little bit of the history of this community, uh, Sonia. Well, um, if I remember correctly, this was this whole community was part of a land grant that was given to Benjamin Smith in 1785. That was a long time ago. That was a very long time ago. Long time ago. And I, I think about, you know, I, I saw 1785 and I'm like, wow. Yeah. You know, I don't even think in the 1700s anymore. That's right. That's right. So, uh, yeah. So, so this community is it's been here for a long time, uh, was a thriving community like a lot of the communities in Haywood County and in the rural areas. You know, they had to have their own doctors That's and right. their own preacher. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't just run to the store in town and get a loaf of bread. <laughs> you know, that was like a, a two-day two day adventure to right. do stuff like that. Right, so, so with, with uh, the community located here, um, with it being granted to Benjamin Smith, by the state of North Carolina. And I'm assuming, uh, and I think I, I, got, I read this correctly, that those settlers from North Carolina, perhaps, uh, settled here and they brought one doctor, like you said, mm -hmm. and one preacher. Yes. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Yeah. And one doctor and one preacher. That's about all you needed to survive. One doctor and one preacher. One preacher. Isn't that something? Oh gosh! Yep. And yeah. then, you know, they they worked the land, and mm -hmm. the area began to grow. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I know my family came from North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so a lot of people in this area uh, came from North Carolina, and eventually, I think it was a Tom Humphreys mm -hmm. who opened the first store here, and the first store was also the post office. 
Wow. Now, there's something special about the Postal Service here uh, at Fork It Deer. I think they had there was a Pony Express that was involved, uh, getting packages and things back and forth into Brownsville. Right. Am I correct yeah. with that? Yeah. You know, and when you think about Pony Express, you think about the Wild West. Uh-huh. But there was a Pony <laughs> Express from here. In the, in North, in, in, in the northwest, northwest Haywood County, right? To Brownsville. Isn't that south something? to Brownsville. So Isn't that something. Yeah, that's and it was cool. one of the first communities to actually have a regular mail service. Yes. That's what I understand. Oh gosh. Yeah. Fork it deer. 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 We hear somebody say fork it deer. Fork it deer. How do you say it? Fork it deer. Fork it deer. No, it's fork it deer. Well, then fork we know they're not from around no, here. No, no. <laughs> they say forked deer either. <laughs> so, like the Eureka United Methodist Church was organized mm -hmm. in this area. Beautiful um, church and grounds. Oh, I hope we get to go and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in 1884, perhaps, around mm -hmm. that time. Around that time, yeah, yes. Yeah, around that time. Probably. Yes. So, um, yeah. Wow. And I think, you know, they had already established a Presbyterian church mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. And I think the churches merged mm -hmm. or um, the Methodist church used the grounds that the Presbyterian church right. was on originally. So, Wow. Wow. Interesting history. Uh, and there's several residents still in this community. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Since so, we heard the roosters. That's and the, right. And the vehicles going by this right. morning. A lot, a lot of farmland. A lot of farmland in this area. Mm -hmm. You Let's know, talk about the river. My goodness, the Fork of Deer River. With its branches. It's, it has different branches <clears throat> of the Fork of Deer River, and it goes all through this area. Yeah. Um, you know, I've always heard that's how it got this community and the river got its name, uh -huh. is because if you look at the different branches, it resembles the rack of a deer. Uh huh. Yeah. So. And the Fork of Deer River sense. goes behind my house, and I live in the northeast that's part of right. the county. So it goes all across wow. Haywood County. A lot of good fishing. Oh yeah, <laughs> lots of good fishing. Catfish, uh, yeah. brim, crappie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of good fishing. A lot of good cream and coffee looking waters. How about that? Muddy waters. Muddy waters. That's Just it. like the mighty Mississippi. That's right. Muddy waters around That's here. Right. That's all right. Uh, probably some names that we could probably throw throw out. Um, you know, just leading citizens could be, who do you think, where, where could we start? Um, Cole Stanley, mm -hmm. I think was one of the leading, one of the uh, leading citizens here in Fork of Deer. Um, I think he was considered an expert marksman yeah. in his day, which meant he was killing a lot of those deer, deer that we talked about around right. here. He supplied them to the families yeah. in the early yeah. years mm -hmm. in this area. Uh, Jimmy Wilder, who was a major during the Civil War, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and then and I think he became the president of First State Bank. Did he not? I believe so. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Samuel Bain, uh, who established the first school in Fort Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they have uh, family in this area still, the Bain family. I'm sure they do. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I think Dr. J.W. Warren mm -hmm. was the community's doctor for a long time. Yeah, like from 1900 to 1930. Yeah. Isn't that something, though, to be just the only doctor in this area? Uh, wow. Yeah. A lot of good history. A lot of good history, and some of those families, like we we mentioned, are still occupying the land mm -hmm. here. Uh, County Commissioner Sharon Hayes has ties. She does. She has her family farm is out here. Yeah. Maybe we could sneak up. Maybe we should call her and she'll cook us some bacon and eggs this morning. <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what else could we talk about? Uh, it looks like at one time there was a fire department. I don't know if it's still I think probably there is still a volunteer still fire a volunteer department. Fire I know department most of the here. communities um, in Haywood County have volunteer fire departments. That's how we keep our great fire rating. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And I am most impressed this morning because we came up on the garbage containers and it is so nice and clean here. Almost pristine. That's right. That's right. I mean, it that's is. right. 
you know, people yeah. are paying a attention. A clean place to bring it. your trash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a clean place to bring your trash. Yeah, I'm looking at the playground equipment uh, around us, and you can see there's monkey bars and Slides, slides and bleachers yeah. Yeah. Uh, the walking park is behind us it's a beautiful mm -hmm. open field That's right. yeah. that people can walk around yeah. and um well now, maybe a half store. mile track no, you probably so yeah the old store is not in operation now no uh, but i imagine there were some good cold cuts cut out of that store yeah. sliced out of that store and you know a lot of the country stores nowadays will uh, be open during the farming season right and then they close down during the summer yeah. or during the dead of winter I'm yeah. not sure if that's the case with yeah. this one uh, but that happens a lot in our communities yeah. they just open to to service the farmers and mm -hmm. the people that are working during those that spring and, the, and fall season and you know if you look at the building the building looks well kept mm -hmm. yeah the exterior mm -hmm. of it so I bet it's it's functioning at some point probably in time. yes we hope so we hope fingers so. crossed yeah we can't fingers go get crossed. us a cup of coffee this morning I know, but I know I know well Sonia this has been a great morning it has been it's been a great morning and then we're gonna sit here and swing for a little while I think we should I think we should start <laughs> I was... now I think we should start now okay Mark, you ready all right. ready we'll see you all later bye. thanks for joining us bye Woo! Hee, <laughs>